rider, uh, Lendell, only 25 years old. So, you know, some, some World Cup uh, medals to his name. So still a very well-respected competitor. But I think the experience of Levy, the 33-year-old from Germany, um, just really sort of paid off that he didn't panic. He just, you know, stuck to his plan kept high on the track like I was saying it feels counterintuitive to stay high but actually you really need that rush off the banking and he maximized that as we came into the bell and took a fantastic win it was super well we'll see them again a little bit later just setting up now for the women's omnium and don't forget this is the eliminator we've already had the scratch and the uh, tempo race eliminator now and points to finish off this evening Welcome everybody, just uh, looking through the women's omnium. This is starting at the rail. Maria Martins, Balsamo of Italy, uh, Bluzaj of Poland, Seitz. Uh, um, we have uh, uh, Sevenka as well of Belarus. Laura Kenny, who is in second place at the moment, but level on points with Maria Martins. We've just seen declared at the rail. Starts off uh, at the bottom of the track. Balsamo um, is also at the rail and leads this competition. Um, actually, they've just done it in alphabetical order. It's as simple as that. So despite the fact it says one, two, three here, because actually on the official uh, starting sheet, it said Mar uh, Maria de Martins, Laura Kenny and Elisa Balsamo, all on 70 points. They will be separated a little bit later on because they can't not be by the time they come to the line. <laughs> Uh, because even if they are level on points, whoever beats the other, when we get to the points race, which is the final phase, they will be the winner. So we will have a winner, even if you're level on points, if you see what I mean. So, um, should we have a bit of elimination, Joe? Yes, we love elimination races. Uh, we've obviously had two in the first few days of competition so far, the men's and the women's standalone elimination events, both won by British riders. But now this event is part of the Omnium, so we're going to get points for, for winning and lower points the further down the field that you come. This is, of course, Laura Kenny's speciality. She absolutely loves this event, so all eyes will be on her, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, just uh, um, picking out a few for you, our uh, uh, local pro producers here. Um, good to see, but uh, Maria Martin's just shown to you, of course, uh, Slovakia just uh, lining up right now. That's uh, um, Bacikova with work to do. Um, everyone points scoring here because it's a reasonably short field. So 13 riders, even if you finish 13th, you're going to get 16 points. But it's the 40 for taking each of the disciplines that you want. And um, yet more points up for grabs when we get to the points race a little bit later on, naturally enough. So, um, when we don't mention Laura Kenny, it's because she's doing a good job. But there she is at the front, and you'd expect that. Uh, Novolatskaya, who at the moment is on 68 points, so two behind the three uh, points leaders at the moment. She's very much very attentive. Now oh, there's the gun. And uh, we are underway. You know how you're... Omnium uh, Eliminator, or all elimination races work. You'll hear the bell next time by. That announces the sprint lap. We will then have a sprint lap announced uh, every other lap. And the one at the back, by the time they cross the line, next time by, will be eliminated. So the important bit is to watch the rear, and it's Hungary again, I'm afraid. This is a wall of riders in front of Hungary. She might have to work hard to get up and over the top, and does so. And there's a surprise for you straight away. It's Savage Kova, I think, of, uh, it is, of uh, the Czech Republic, and her beacon's gone off. And that will not be pleasant news for her. She's um, sixth in the scratch, ninth in the tempo, but is first to go out, I'm afraid, here. That's not good news. That's the way it works, Joe. Spit next time, by, And this is... Uh, I always find that the Eliminators, when they are part of the Omnium, have an added zest somehow. Yeah, they do, because you've got the sort of competitions within competitions as well, and, you know, all eyes on your closest competitors. And like you say, you can have a good first two events in the Omnium, but a little mistake in the elimination race, and it can completely change your overall standing. There we are. Hungary next to go, so finishing 12th in this eliminator. Who's going to be finishing 11th? Whoever's at the back next time by. You've heard the bell. Looking a bit tardy from Poland, from uh, Plosz, but strapped down at the bottom is the Ukraine of uh, Nirna. And nowhere to go. Let's see if they all get up. Uh, to That, to me, well, we had the wrong angle there, I'm afraid. I couldn't see who it was. 
And it is Nahirna who went. Gosh, that was close. And playing with fire at the moment is Poland's uh, Plozaj. Just riding the blue line, Joan. She's, um, she's out of position. I don't think she wants to repeat that one. No, but she's on the outside there, so she's she's got space to sprint. She's got sort of space on the track to go into if she wants to. Often it's the people stuck at the bottom of the track with absolutely nowhere to go. And we can just see the Polish rider nicely moving round the bunch now, and there's a couple of riders that could get caught out. Oh, Russia's uh, on a hurry up here. Oh, well, that's between uh, Russia and Belarus, I think. And they've called Russia. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, Novolodskaya, that's an absolute disaster for her. And she sails up, knowing she mistimed that. Well, I think Belarus are probably um, quite lucky to get away with that. But Novolodskaya, who was only two points down on the leaders, don't forget, has exited very quickly, Joe. That's a disaster for her. Yeah, I, I thought that she'd got round the Belarusian rider there. But no, the judges have called it. And yes, yeah, the Russian rider who's gone out. There we are. Uh, well... That's the sign we wanted. Switzerland, I believe. Sites. Yep, it is Sites that goes next. Gosh, it's very difficult to see as they unwind. It's that final last split second, Joe, isn't it, when they hit the line? It is, and it's like, like you said, it's often not always who you think is a lap to go who's at the back now it's the people that might be a few riders further up but stuck with nowhere to go of course you can't race on the blue band at the bottom that's the Cote d'Azur that's not part of the racing track so you would get DQ'd if you went there well Belarus now is trapped at the bottom nowhere to go and I think he's going to lose out does so Belarus has gone this time wow Ina Savenka yes um I'm glad about that. I was questioning my own eyes for a moment. So um, it rolls on and it gets ever more difficult. Uh, big pickup here by Spain and Larate, quite low, low down in the competition, I'm afraid. But it looks like some legs are starting to run out here. And Slovakia looks in trouble. Vatchikova, I'm afraid, looks like she's going to go next and is hanging way off the back. And you see this, Joe, sometimes. Um, fatigue starts to set in and what's such a, a busy, busy event, isn't it? So many disciplines crammed into one day, Joe, and uh, Bacikova clearly has been found out there. Yeah, it is. So it's four races in a day and they're all these bunch events. So there's no sort of let up or you said in the previous version of the Omnium. Some shorter events like the flying lap, like the 500 meter time trial. Uh, but it's all a long time on your bike. It's all those warm routines as well. So it is a big day out for these riders. Oh, Poland versus Portugal and Portuguese, I'm afraid, have uh, mistimed that one just a little bit. And that is Maria Martins, the leader of this. And she's finished sixth in this one. Uh, that's a big points hit, to be honest. Fourth in the scratch, third in the tempo, and uh, now has been trimmed off in sixth place, which gives her 30 points. But there's plenty more up for grabs. Um, it's not an absolute disaster, because you can make up so many in the, in the points race a little bit later, Joe. But let's have a look at this one. Down the back straight, Spain look like they have given up the ghost this time, and maybe just preserving a bit of energy for later. Lerate. Yeah, there we well, go. Sorry. yeah, she went really well. She was in 11th place out of 13 coming into mm. this. And for a couple of sprints there, I thought she was almost on borrowed time, but uh, she's done very well to secure a top five position there. Four remaining then, including our very own Laura Kenny. There she is, uh, just tucked in for the time being. Uh, Poland's still active. Likewise, Italy with Elisa Balsamo, who just heads up over the top. Lithuania still very busy with uh, uh, Balazita. Balasaita wants this one, at least uh, this time by, keeping herself safe. Here we are. Well, you can't all win, and it's uh, Plozash that goes this time. So finishing fourth, not too bad, picks up 34 points. Now there's a whole rack full available right now, and it looks like Plozash was not overly convinced that she was out. Still riding the coat deserve, but does now realize. So, Laura Kenny now needs to go KG. She's got uh, Balsamo with her as well. Um, Balasaita, the three, um, well, three of the powerhouses, certainly. Uh, I'm sure that Maria Martins would probably argue with that, but um, here we are. It's going to be a shootout between uh, Kenny and Balsamo. Balasaita will finish third in this one. 
uh, probably in a little bit of pre preservation mode. Is it worth it for just four more points to keep battling on when you've got a points race out there? That's the way they think, Joe. It is the way they think. It's not long. It's later on this evening we've got the points race, which will be 80 laps long. So a, another big event to get through. And, you know, if you're in this position, you can just concede you're going to take third place. These two riders here are battling out for the win now. Well, this is for the lead as well. Don't forget, they're both on 70 points. And Balsamo has headed off here. Now, Laura Kenny, how much does she want to invest into the chase here? That's the big question, and it looks like she's going to let Balsamo go this time by, and we'll see how they function in the points race. Balsamo takes this one and the 40 points then. Uh, Laura Kenny takes the 38, courtesy of finishing in second place. And so now we have an out-and-out -out leader of the competition with just one phase to go. Balsamo leads Kelly by two points overall. What a great competition this is, Joe. It is a great competition, and Balsamo looked really good there. Laura Kenny took her high up the banking, and Balsamo waited and waited and waited, then took that gap, led out that sprint at more than a lap to go, and Laura Kenny couldn't quite respond to it, so I think she conceded there, right, OK, I'm going to take second place. Another big event to come, but hats off to the winner here, Alyssa Balsamo, of that elimination. Very much so. It gets very cagey later. So Balsamo is the leader of this competition after beating Laura Kenny here in the last phase of this. We're going to see the points, just the results at the moment as confirmed. Maria Martins there will be very disappointed at, uh, at losing ground, I'm afraid. There was a few others that I think should have had a lot more um, out of that one. But remember, Maria Martins, who was level with Kenny and Balsamo, it shows you how quickly things can change, Joe. It can, yeah. She took sixth place in that event, so conceding a few points, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how she approaches this points race, because she's a rider that is not afraid of reputations. She's always keen to get stuck in, go on the attack. Um, so I do always really enjoy watching her compete in these events, and it'll, now she's a few points further down. She won't be racing defensively. She'll need to race aggressively, which will be always be interesting to watch Exactly. Well, uh, those of you who are still with us on digital, just watching this um, spin out, and in the end, um, I think it was a, uh, a gracious acknowledgement there by Laura Kenny that really it wasn't worth the candle in battling this all the way to the line for just two points when there are so many on offer a little bit later on with um, the sprints there in. The women will have eight sprints, don't forget, as part of their points race. Confirmation of the women's standings overall. Balsamo now leads the competition in the Omnium after three of the four events by two points ahead of Laura Kenny. Maria Martins uh, is now adrift by ten points overall, uh, but plenty with uh, uh, eight sprints in the women's Omnium final points race to be assembled to decide 